So here we have Bigfoot walking in Boise I, County. Idaho. Yes. You what? Um, but anyway, now, I'm also... Now, you know what? What? In Idaho, I mean, do you think, for instance, he's eating potatoes? Now, you're saying that because Idaho is known for their They're potatoes. They're famous, world famous for potatoes. Yeah, but don't you have to go to a farm or something? Yeah, he might get into well, farm there areas. There wild potatoes out there. Who knows? You know, I was on that show, Bigfoot, where they were showing a... Uh, Bigfoot shelter, the two uh, Native, Native Americans. Americans. Yes, they were showing uh, what they perceived to be a Bigfoot shelter. That looked reasonable. It looked reasonable. And they were also, uh, in another segment, uh, there were some people going into, into a cave looking for was Bigfoot. Was that the guy that uh, claimed to have shot a few Bigfoots? Uh, was yeah, yeah. No, was I, that a different No, I think it was the, I think it was the um, grunge guys from wherever they're from. The bearded guy and the other grunge well, that's guy. A different, that's a different... Uh, it's a different one. Yeah, it's a different team. That's not the guy that was... No, it's a t completely different team. In fact, the, gr the, the guy that's the Justin Sedgema or whatever... I can't... Gosh, I can't think of his Shmegma. name. Shmegma. Shmegma, whatever. Is, he's teamed up with a, a Persian guy. He's not uh, Carlos Santana. He is a... Uh, oh, really? He's, he looked like Carlos Santana. And he is a, from what I've read, a radio talk show gentleman. Oh. And he also is a uh, you know edits movies or he's an editor, so just some some more information on him. So, and he somehow team. I think he met Jason Semija or what Semia Semia whatever on on his radio show, and they teamed up after that. But I want to talk about. That's interesting. You know why would Bigfoot build a shelter if there are caves close by? Why not just use a cave to get in out of the. Precisely, maybe there's not caves next nearby. There's not always caves everywhere. Well, that's true, but in the location they're in, um, there were caves. I don't know if I'm conflating the the two episodes. They might have been separate areas. Oh, okay. Well, that would that be just to spend the night somewhere, or would that be specifically to get out, in out of the weather? Uh, to me, it seems like if somebody's going to build something like that, they just want to get out of the wetness and, and maybe the rain, because I don't think that keeps you any warmer or not. Now, they, they have, you know, fur, and, and I don't think just... You know what? I don't know. We don't know that those are the shelters are even for Bigfoot. I mean, people, people see trees, you know, small and, trees lined and up. And is there a place where Bigfoot is, is just a nomad walking forever and just laying down and getting back up and walking again? Or do they have a place, where, a location where they call, a centralized location where they actually call it their home? We have footage, and I, I've got to uh, find it because we're, we're, we're getting so much, of a Bigfoot just lying down on a rock. That's got to be the one and only photo of a Bigfoot lying on a rock. Yeah, it's actually video of Bigfoot lying on, on a rock. And when he uh, gets up, the cameraman just darts because they're just, you know, pressing their luck, and then all of a sudden it gets up, and then the ca you can see just the movement of the camera. But it's kind of interesting, where would they sleep? They'd have to give it some kind of forethought. I don't want to... And, and they're an apex predator. It'd be nice to have the a pillow and a blanket out there somewhere. Good. Yeah, I, absolutely. Do they know how to use fire? I... They're practically human. I doubt it. I, I would say they. I say if, if they don't have clothes, then they don't know how to build a fire. This is a Neanderthal. This is a caveman. This is beyond Neanderthal. 